everybody what is going on it is rick and i'm here at the philadelphia sports card show if you guys can see uh it is hopping here busier than any other convention i've been to in a long time and uh basically as you guys know i've gotten back into wrestling cards so i'm here with rj as well as my buddy seth who is walking around somewhere we're actually about to go meet boston scott the running back from the philadelphia eagles and uh, guys, you cannot believe, camera here, the show is just massive, it is huge, it's in the corner, because uh, like I said, we're getting ready to meet Boston Scott, sold a few wrestling cards already, my buddy Seth has sold a Jalen Hurts auto, RJ has sold some stuff, so the show is alive and well, the line to get in here was insane, and uh, hopefully I'll have some pickups to show you guys, and uh, I've never done a video like this, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So that is the only footage you're going to see from inside the show. Um, the show was absolutely insane. Um, I couldn't really get footage when it got very busy, but as you guys saw, it was really busy in that corner we were in. Uh, it got to the point where the show became really hot uh, temperature wise and just very, very crazy and chaotic. Um, I did buy some stuff. It's going to be tough. I'm not sure how I'm going to show in the video. I bought a handful of singles, but I also um, may have bought some wax. And we actually opened a little bit of wax already uh, with my buddy Seth. Uh, but I want to show you guys. We, we just got in the car. Um, if you guys are Eagles fans here, or, or maybe just fans of football, uh, that is Boston Scott. He is a running back from the Philadelphia Eagles. Super nice guy. Uh, talked to him for a minute or two and got a photo op. I love this picture. It's me, RJ, and Boston Scott. And like I said, just a really nice guy. And uh, talked to us for a few minutes while we did the photo op. Uh, there were a ton of Eagles there. Deshaun Jackson was there. Hassan Reddick was there. Uh, there were a bunch of Sixers there today. Um, Maxie was there. Uh, Mac McClone, who won the slam dunk contest. Tobias Harris. So you had a mix of a ton of people um, there for autographs and photo ops. Uh, tomorrow there's going to be Phillies, Mike Schmidt, Steve Carlton, and uh, Pete Rose are all going to be there. They have this show three times a year. But like I said, it got to the point where it wasn't enjoyable because there was way too many people uh, at the show. You couldn't really look at tables. People were nudging in you and bumping you. So we grab some lunch and open some stuff. So I think what I'm going to do now is kind of show you guys what I got. I don't think I'm going to necessarily do unboxings on video, but after I unbox the stuff, I think I'm going to show um, what we got from the boxes. So we'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. So I bought a cat at the card show. That's the first thing I grabbed. So I kind of want to show you guys um, what I got. And then I'm going to open stuff, but I'm not going to do it on camera. And I'll show you guys pick up. So my buddy Seth had won this box about four years ago. And this was my first time going to a card show with him. So we opened this. Out of this box, we got a Dana Brooke Relic number 299. A Shana Baszler May Young Classic number 250. Ronda Rousey's rookie card. And then... The big hit of the box was this, pretty cool, a Kyrie Sane numbered 25 of 25, so the bookend Kyrie Sane card. Um, I didn't think this would have much value, and I looked it up, and surprisingly, this goes for a decent amount of money. I've seen an out of 99 sell for $35, so I'll try to move this one for a good price to fund something for the PC. Uh, then, as you guys can see here, Aoife Valkyrie, who I collect. This being her Stainless Stars card, which is an awesome card. 17 out of 49 is the serial number on it. Uh, I paid $20 for it, not the 25 And I'd forgotten I actually got this recently um, in a lot of women's autograph cards. So I have two of these now, but I love the metal cards plus the signatures on card or on metal. So just the sharp card. Uh, then I bought a box of 2020 Women's Division and didn't realize it was one giant pack of cards, uh, which was a bit anticlimactic. And uh, in that, I don't even know. Did I leave my, I left my hits in there. So this was probably the highlight of the 
box. It is a Charlotte Flair 6 out of 10 championship belt card. There you go. There's the focus. Um, then there's a Billy K number 299 on card auto. And then a Dakota Kai serial numbered 51 out of 75. Uh, then the only other thing I bought was this handful of singles from a table. Uh, it was $20. Like I said, in the, the car, there was just so many people there. It was tough to look at boxes and showcases. So this is from 2021 Undisputed. Mandy Rose bookend, 50 of 50. These I thought were a cool pair. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, both numbered out of 25 from Undisputed. Jay Uso out of 99 and then the Liv Morgan out of 99 and I grabbed a Stevie Turner for the PC this being the silver prism uh, the green prism JC Jane rookie the silver prism JC Jane rookie from prism the I guess this is like a silver red white and blue prism parallel because a lot of them the base ones don't really have the holographic look uh, and they GG Dolan prism then a box of 2022 Select, one I've wanted to rip for a while. And then, um, what is this? A eight-box case of Panini Revolution, an inexpensive product. I was able to get the case for $480, um, so $60 a box. And you're not guaranteed an auto in every box, but usually in a half case like this, you'll get four autos, usually on average. So like I said, we're going to have a rip party. RJ has some 2023 tops over there that he got. And uh, I'll be back with my hits. All right, guys. So all the ripping has been done. I opened the box of Select Hobby as well as the entire case or eight box case of Revolution. Uh, Bridget and I actually opened that. So um, time has passed since I'm recording this. Not going to lie. It's been about a week. Um, so we're going to go right into it and I kind of have the hits in order here. Some aren't technically hits. We have a solo of Sokoa rookie, Grayson Waller, premier level rookie, a Braun Breaker rookie, Gigi Dolan. This is all just base. A JC Jane premier level rookie, a JC Jane NXT 2.0 insert. I love the look of these cards. I do have, um, I do have Nikita Lyons in this set in my personal collection and you have Tricolor, uh, Sheamus, Typhoon, RVD, Rob Van Dam. Then you have Scope, you have Blair Davenport, a Silver Premier Level Randy Orton, Silver Premier Level Ricochet, Silver J Uso. Like I said, this was all from the one hobby box of Select. Silver Becky Lynch. Then you have some serial number cards. We have a Gunther numbered to 299 there. A Madcap Moss numbered to 199. Drew McIntyre number to 149. Dolph Ziggler, number to 75, this being a purple. Then you get into the hits. The Relic is a Kevin Owens, non-serial numbered. And one of the autographs is, or was, an Eric. The other autograph is going to come later. I've kind of piled up in the order I wanted to show off the cards. So... Pretty solid for a box of Select. Um, the price point, obviously, a little more expensive on Select. The box of Select, I paid, I believe, one seventy for at the show. Um, lots of serial numbers, parallels, and the other hit was very solid. Now let's get into the Revolution hits. Um, so with Revolution, eight boxes. Basically, there's no guarantees in um, Revolution for a box. But from what I found from reading, um, an eight box half case usually produces four autos, and that is the case here. But we have a Braun Breaker, Astro, a Cora Jade, 
groove. <clears throat> I love these cards. They're like die cuts. We have a lift off Bobby Lashley, Kofi Kingston, and Finn Balor. And we're going to get into serial numbered cards here. Xavier Woods or King Woods. An angular number to 199. Bobby Lashley, angular to 199. <clears throat> the Vikings, Viking Raiders, number to 199. Ricochet, number to 199. Rated RKO, Randy Orton and Edge. 199. Oh, almost. There's a little tease for the select auto. Zeely, number to 199. Tony D'Angelo, also number to 199. So lots of 199 parallels. The Angular. Biggie Langston, number to 149. This is a cosmic. Wesley, current North American champ in NXT, number to 149. This is a cool card. Brett, the Hitman Heart, Cosmic, number to 149. Two dudes with attitudes, Diesel and Shawn Michaels. This is also, this is a sunburst, so this is out of 99. Harlem Heat. Number to 99, also Sunburst. Triple H, I believe this is a Sunburst as well. Yep, number to 99, Sunburst. AJ Styles, number to 99, Sunburst. Ela Dragunov, number to 99, Sunburst. And then, before we get into hits... Or actually, there's one more number card. A Vortex, Apollo Crews, Co not Cosmic, Cubic, number to 49. And then, as for the last of the big serial numbered cards, we got, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this without, Solo Sokoa, number to 99, Sunburst. Now we're going to get into the autographs. Let's focus up. So, the least of the autographs is this Bobby Lashley. And none of my autographs were serial numbered, which was a bit of a bummer. So, Bobby Lashley, the next auto. Mercedes Monet, or better known in WWE, is Sasha Banks. I did pretty well with the autographs in the box, I'm not going to lie. Uh, three of the four were very solid. Bobby Lashley was definitely the weakest of the the four. I will say it looks like part of the S was cut off with that sticker on the Sasha card. But uh, next up, a beautiful autograph card here. Brett the Hitman Hart. A nice signature. A legend. Not a card. Uh, not an autograph you see a ton of. And then the big autograph. The Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. That's a pretty huge auto for Revolution, Brock Auto. So, And then the Select Auto, which I believe is serial numbered to 49. One of the hottest names in female wrestling in NXT 2.0. Cora Jade, Select Auto, numbered 48 of 49. So, a pretty solid um, case of Revolution. I, it was a fun break, and honestly, for the price point, um, I paid $480 for the case, which was eight boxes. Uh, when you compare that to something like Immaculate, where um, you're, you know, you're getting four autographs in Revolution, but you're getting a lot of parallels, um, and for the price point alone, you're getting a substantial... A larger amount of cards, the value is not nearly as high, but it was a fun rip. Um, you know, like I said, Bridget's gotten, gotten into opening the cards as well. Uh, I am excited about 2023 Prism, which is around the corner. 
And uh, the card show was a blast. Like I said, a bit too crowded. Couldn't really enjoy it. But hopefully more card shows to come in the uh, the future. Um, you know, hopefully this summer there's a bunch of card shows. So the top hits from the breaking right here. Uh, Core Jade's really a cool card. The Brock, the Brett, the Sasha, really cool cards. The Solo out of 99 is solid as well. So thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully, like I said, you guys are enjoying the card videos. Uh, trying to kind of diversify what I'm doing on the channel. And uh, until next time, who's down to movie?